Good morning and, and thanks for coming out. My name is Ian Morrison and I speak for the Friends of Canadian Broadcasting. Friends is a non-partisan watchdog for more and better Canadian programming. We're supported by more than 300,000 Canadian families. You can read all about us at friends.ca. By the way, about 1,500 of those families live in, uh, in Peterborough, Kawartha. Joining me is Katie Denton, one of the leading volunteers in Friends' We Vote CBC campaign here in Peterborough. This morning, we are releasing the results of a Nanos research poll of voters in the federal riding of Peterborough, Kawartha, the first poll of voters in this riding in the 2015 uh, general election. Nanos research canvassed the views of local voters at the end of August to learn, among other things, about uh, the party that they would support if an election were held immediately. The survey found that the federal riding of Peterborough Kawartha has turned from a conservative fortress into a battleground riding. The Liberal Party is in first place with 41% of decided voters. The Conservatives and the NDP are running neck and neck with 29 and 27% respectively. The Green Party has 4% and about one quarter of voters are undecided. That is quite a sea change from the results of the last election when the Conservatives won twice as many votes as the second place NDP. Peterborough Kawartha is now a close riding. That means that issues and where the party leaders and candidates stand on them matter. The Nano survey explored two issues that matter to voters in the community the future of the CBC, and the value of local broadcasting. As you may know, for months, Katie has been talking to voters here about the CBC. The work of Katie and her colleagues is plain to see with We Vote CBC signs on lawns throughout the riding. Katie? That's quite right. The group We Vote CBC Peterborough has been speaking with uh, thousands of voters in the riding over the past several months, over the past half year. We know support for the CBC is strong. 1,210 families in this riding have We Vote CBC lawn signs on display on their property. I think that's more than any single local candidate has, actually. I can verify that. <laughs> Here in uh, Peterborough, Kawartha, in this riding, voters want to elect a member of parliament who will champion the CBC, who will fight for a strong CBC instead of one who wants to tear the CBC down. In fact, the Nanos poll has found that 69% of residents here are more likely to vote for a candidate who favors increased funding for the CBC, as opposed to just 18%, who would be more likely to vote for a candidate who favors privatizing the CBC. 69% of residents here are more likely to vote for a candidate who favors increased funding for the CBC. This includes fully half of people who say they have decided to vote conservative. And there's more. The NANOS study found that 87% of Peterborough Kawartha voters would urge their Member of Parliament to support increasing CBC's budget or at least maintaining it at current levels. 78% of Conservative Party supporters feel this way too. This riding feels that the current government has gone too far. Its cutting of the CBC has got to stop it has to be rolled back. Ian. Thanks, Katie. Nanos also found that six in every 10 voters here think that the Prime Minister has too much influence over the programs the CBC puts on the air because of the power to appoint the CBC president and members of the board of directors. Political interference in CBC's operations is of concern here in Peterborough. But there is another very timely and important issue of concern to voters in Peterborough Kawartha, and that is the survival of local TV news. The Nano survey found that people in this riding value Czechs TV and the window on the local community it provides. 88% agree or somewhat agree that, quote, 
Local TV news on checks helps to make the community stronger. 80% agree or somewhat agree that local TV news on checks is valuable to me. 82% disagree or somewhat disagree with the statement, I would not care if checks stopped broadcasting local news. And 78% agree that, quote, their member of parliament should work to keep local broadcasting strong in my community. A strong majority, 66% of residents here, trust the CRTC to ensure that Czech's local news is not forced to fade to black, a level of trust that seems to us to be misplaced. Local, independent stations serving smaller communities such as Czechs in Peterborough are in financial distress. In part, this is due to challenges facing all broadcasters but it is also the direct result of decisions recently made by the CRTC and a willful refusal on the part of the Commission to act to protect local TV news in communities such as Peterborough. Czechs TV and other independent stations throughout the country have banded together to call on the CRTC for urgent help. In a March 9, 2015 letter, the Small Market Independent Television Station Coalition, that's known as SMITS, Small Market Independent Television Station Coalition, asked the CRTC for emergency interim funding. They concluded with the following ominous prediction. Unless support along the lines of SMITS proposal is in place by September of 2015, the likelihood of stations going dark is extremely high. They have told the Commission that much of the dire financial situation they face is due to the CRTC imposing new costs while at the same time cutting funding to these stations, and that without action by, this, by the Commission, some of their members will fail. The CRTC rejected Smith's proposal on May 28, thereby rolling the dice on the future of 25 local television stations in 14 Canadian cities, including Peterborough. This morning, we have tabled correspondence between the Small Market Independent Television Station Coalition, uh, of which Checks TV belongs, and the CRTC, which sets all of this out in black and white. Will Checks TV or other small market stations elsewhere in Canada fade to black next week? I don't know. Of course, even if they were making plans to shut down, executives at Chorus Entertainment, which owns Czechs, would hardly want to talk about it in advance. Like the CBC's leadership, the CRTC is run by people appointed through political patronage. The current chair of the CRTC has adopted the Harper government's agenda as his own, even though the commission is supposed to work independently from political interference. If Czechs TV's local news were to shut down, voters here will know who to blame, and it won't be some faceless bureaucrat in Ottawa. Thanks, and we're happy to take any questions you may have. The question, hang on, local TV news and Czechs TV tell us make community stronger. This, this is a reflection of um, an interest in the local, the local situation. I know that it, it, you know the supporting CBC is is the main thing, but it's also supporting Canadian television, right? Mm -hmm. So, given the situation that we find ourselves in now, um, the question is still a good one. Obviously, if it, if you we need to maintain that local. Do you want me to comment on that? Yes. That, okay. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, uh, from uh, a, a long time ago, uh, the priorities of the Friends of Canadian Broadcasting have included public broadcasting and local television. The only other long-term priority has been uh, fighting for diversity in the system to, to avoid more and more concentration. So uh, we happen to be focusing on CBC today because of the general election and the uh, and the attack on public broadcasting that the Harper government has uh, launched in the past few years after promising to support it okay but on the lo on the local uh, front it's uh, why you know we asked nanos to ask some questions 
it wasn't about uh, manufacturing or freight rates or anything like that. It's, a, it's about broadcasting issues. And they asked a series of questions about local. And we wanted, to, uh, we wanted their help to demonstrate in a specific federal writing that is in play that people really care about local news on television. And I would say to my friend at the end of the table, and radio too. <laughs> and so uh, that, that is, uh, that's why that this uh, news conference is focusing on uh, two issues. Uh, which one is more important? I'd say it's hard to say because of the crisis. I, uh, my colleague Jim Thompson went over to the CRTC and acquired the correspondence that we've given you today. It's pretty somber stuff. Um, it, 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 uh, your station is part of a, a reasonably large company. You're, you're a, a small piece of a larger uh, group. Uh, in some cities or, uh, around the country, uh, there are independent operators. Thunder Bay is a good example. And if they can't make a dollar uh, when they're doing their local news, there's a real danger that uh, they will stop doing it. And so we're, we're ringing an alarm bell uh, that the CRTC is not doing its job properly in imposing all kinds of conditions on these local stations that are just at marginal profitability at the best. That's why it's in that poll today. Okay, so just a sort of follow-up question. Uh, given the fact that you say that the, um, the whole CRTC thing is all based on, on patronage, how would you see it differently? What would you like to, how would like you like to see the CBC run in that sense? Uh, now you mentioned the CRTC oh, and the so CBC, together, okay. but I'll answer. I'll yeah. answer for both. Um, we we think uh, that the broadcast regulator, and in particular the board of directors of the National Public Broadcaster, should be appointed at arm's length from political patronage. We need the best and the brightest people on those boards. And in the case of the CRTC, the law says it should be independent from the party in power. And yet the CRTC has espoused this so-called consumer-friendly approach, uh, which is reducing the revenues of all kinds of television stations around the country, including Chex TV, at a time when they can't afford it. So there's a real danger that in following that Harper-led agenda, we may find ourselves, especially in smaller Canadian communities, without local television in the future. And this is a, uh, a call uh, to action. Okay. I'm just curious, you know, I, I, I see the, the one that jumps out to me, you know, Liberal Party in first place, 41% of decided voters. Um, I'm assuming, are those decided voters only as it pertains to this particular survey commenting on local news, or is that taking into account, you know, everything? Yeah, um, if you, uh, I'll answer your question, sure. but uh, Nanos Research is an independent organization. They don't print what we want them to print. Right, okay, <laughs> okay? Sure. So what they did was they took, they designed, uh, a random stratified, it, it read the fine print at the bottom uh, for the, the way they constructed the survey, of 300 randomly chosen voting age adults in the, in the federal riding of Peterborough Kawartha. And then they asked a series of questions, and all those questions are listed in the literature you have. So those 300 people are expressing themselves. Like 41% of those among them who had an opinion about which party they would vote for chose the Liberal Party, and 29% Conservative and 27 uh, NDP, and I think 4% Green Party, if I remember the numbers. Um, and that's there's a margin of error, five or six percent. So uh, the same questions, the same voters were asked these questions about uh, local television, and they expressed uh, these views about them. They were asked questions about the the matter that Katie uh, brought up about. Uh, views about the future of public broadcasting. So it's a, it's a pretty good sample. Uh, you don't often get a sample in one federal riding of 300 people because it costs a bit of money and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the political parties would do it, but they wouldn't share it with you and me. You know? okay. Did these numbers uh, surprise you in any way? Or were yeah. you what you already believed or what was your reaction to the... I, well, uh, just I'm smiling while I say this, but I'm a Toronto boy, so I don't have my, 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 my feet on the ground in, uh, in Peterborough, but I, I was surprised to see uh, such a change in the political sentiment. Um, 
we had in 2011, Mr. Del Mastro more than doubled the vote of the NDP, and the Liberal was in third place, as I recall. And now you've got uh, the Liberals uh, ahead, and the NDP and the Conservatives uh, sort of vying with each other. The Liberal uh, lead is larger than the margin of error of the survey. So, so 19 times out of 20, that means uh, it, uh, it would suggest the Liberals have the advantage at this point. Um, we just wanted to know that. Um, we, we, um, we don't favor the Liberals. We're nonpartisan. You know? But Nanos found that out, and, uh, and that's interesting. Uh, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be interesting. Mr. Mulcair is coming here tomorrow. Um, we'll have to share this information with him, too. We vote CBC Peterborough, the, the, the group that is part of the national campaign of Friends of Canadian Broadcasting. We weren't really surprised by the fact that 69% of residents are more likely to vote for a candidate who favours increased funding for the CBC. That's what we've been hearing loud and clear, very strongly. And we hear that across the country, but 69 is a big number. It's a huge yeah. number. Yeah, it's a big number. 